you welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be showing you how i make this organic coconut oil at home so before going through the tutorial i would like to share with you guys the benefits of coconut oil to your human body and to the skin but firstly if you are watching this channel for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the post notification which is the bell icon so you can get notified each time i upload a new video so there are so many benefits which you can derive from using coconut oil the coconut oil reduces inflammation keeping skin moisturized and help in healing wounds and many other benefits which you can get from using this coconut oil you can also use the coconut oil for cooking because it's very healthy to your health. It improves heart health and also lowers bad cholesterol in the body. So firstly, I will pierce through the coconut eyes and get all the water out. I'm doing this because I don't want the water to go into waste because I will drink the water after getting it out. So this is the water I realized from the coconut. So I'll just keep it aside. I love drinking this. So here I'll be using the big knife to smash open the coconut. You can use any metal to crush open yours. But remember whichever metal you are using, you have to be careful with the shell because they can be harmful if you are not doing it in the right way. I'll be peeling off the coconut brownish part with a knife but if you have a potato peeler it's more easier to peel off than using the knife here is what it looks like after getting the bag peeled so i'll go ahead and peel the rest of the coconuts So here is the coconut after getting all the shells and the back of the coconuts. So after peeling out the back, I will go ahead and wash the coconuts, get them sliced up as small as possible for easy blending. If you don't have a strong blender, you can use the commercial ones at the market. But before they start blending yours, make sure the machine used for blending is washed thoroughly so your coconut oil won't get contaminated with other stuffs which you don't want So after blending the coconuts with a cheesecloth, I will get all the juice extracted into a clean bowl. The chaff will be blended again just to get all the juice out of the coconuts. 
So the cheese cloth is to prevent any residue from entering into the coconut milk. So after pouring into the cheese cloth, I will squeeze out as much as possible uh, to get all the milk extracted. So here is what you get after squeezing out all the juice from the blended coconuts. The remaining parts of the coconut can be dried under the sun to be used as coconut flour or be used for baking. After blending the coconut and squeezing out the juice, I let it sit on my kitchen counter for 18 hours to go through a fermenting process. After the 18 hours is over, I let it into the fridge for the creamy part to solidify. So you can see how easy it is to get the creamy parts out from the water. After getting it out from the water, I took it out under a very hot sun to get the whole liquid heated and metal down for an easy separation. This will be going under the sun for the whole content to get melted. So after letting the coconut oil stay under the sun for a very very long time, this is how it looks like. I have scraped off the cheesy parts out from it. After melting down the whole liquid, you can see the coconut oil has separated enough for you to see clearly. But before that, I took out the cheesy parts surrounding the top. So after this, it will go back into the fridge. The reason is to have an easy separation of the whole content. So you can see the coconut oil has solidified after letting it in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. So I will scoop around the plate to get the whole content out. Now you can see the oil has separated itself and it's more easier to work with. 
the coconut oil parts, the cheese-like parts, and the other part is water. So I will start off by scraping off all the cheese parts from the coconut oil so we can end up having coconut oil left. So here is the finished part of the coconut oil. You can store in an airtight container and use anytime you want. Please, if this video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share to your friends and family. See you guys on my next one. Bye-bye.